Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other, and you, that's right, you, vote for the figures on our teams. This week, I, Calderness, am building out of Supernova, and my co, Simeon Bruce, is building out of Origin. Simeon, who is on your team? First up on Team Origin is Wizard Shazam. You have to exclaim it. Uh, this is an old dude in a chair with uh, a big beard, so I know how he feels. Um, he's got 10 range quintessence, not something that we see super often in these sets. 206 points, because why round it off to a decent number? Uh, he starts off with no speed value, or no speed power. He's got 7 speed, 6 speed, 6 speed. Um, some sweet pulse wave with that 10 range, so I'll have to slowly walk him away from the rest of my characters. Uh, some invulnerability top dial, which is nice. Some outwit mid dial, starting off with that prob, which is always great in these old games. Uh, mid dial in cap, and then some late dial pen psi and more pulse wave with three clicks of regen. So we'll see how that goes. And just man, his, good. his damage values are pretty legit there. Yeah, he's pretty solid. It's a big old book next to him. <laughs> Man, if I cut Grandpa my hair... Grandpa's going to tell you a story. If I cut my hair, I mean... I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> Do that. That's the thumbnail. That's, that's, that's the, the thumbnail. thumbnail for if it's week. not the thumbnail, then <laughs> I'm disappointed. Shave my head and dye my beard white. The listener's like, wow, he really did it. They talked about it, and he actually did No, probably probably not. Definitely. You have to dye your beard, shave your head for the thumbnail. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I like my hair too much for that. Um... Next up on my team, we'll get back to this uh, battlefield condition later, but next up on my team is regular Shazam, not the wizard version. Um, still an exclamation point, Still though. an exclamation point. Still have to scream it. Um, he starts off with some earthbound neutralized uh, and some sweet smoke cloud. Eight speed, eight attack value, one damage. So this is an activation click, I suppose, is what we call this. Uh, three range goes on to hypersonic becomes a bit of a bruiser with some perplex five printed damage some super strength can't combine that with hypersonic but i sure can knock people back or just wallop them with a heavy later uh goes to plasticity quake and then more charge super strength exploit decent uh, values all the way down um defense never drops below a 15 which is not the best but at 217 points, I mean, I guess that's that's what I get with this set. Uh, at every point in his dial, I can do 5 damage, because it's either super strength, close combat expert, or just printed 5 damage, or whatever. It's on his flight base, but of course, I can't use flight until I get to that activation click. So, that's what he's looking like. Got the I like this the sculpt a lot more than the other Shazams in this set. I just don't like his face. Yeah, that's fair. Zachary Levi is pretty hard to look at. <laughs> no shade. Zachary <laughs> Levi is a great man. No shade. Sorry. Uh, uh, last actual figure on my team is Mr. Mind. I actually have this figure. He's a really cool like little sculpt. He's just like this bug looking dude. <laughs> it looks like something that Saitama would like fight. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm bugging a jar. Yeah. He just looks so, so goofy. <laughs> like he's doing stand up or something. I don't yeah. Know. Um, What's the deal with airplane food? Like, <laughs> He's got that alien writing, I assume, on uh, his jar. Um, but uh, you'd think he's tiny size. He's not. He's standard. He does have willpower. Some solid uh, defense values all the way through yeah. his dial. 68 points, Superman enemy, which has something to do with outwit. I don't remember. Uh, you have to have another Superman enemy person. Yeah. Then the outwit. higher point character or lower point character can use. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Um, mind control is full dial, perplex is whole dial. Pretty decent little, uh, oh, eight range, one lightning bolt. Yeah. So yeah. Pretty decent little uh, background guy. He will have to be like carried because his speed is real slow, but we'll we'll get to that when we get to it. And then I had to throw on a bystander, so we've got Mr. Talkie Tawny of the Talkie Tawnies. Um, 
He has a uh, pretty solid stats here. Seven speed, seven attack, two damage. Tiger in a suit. Fourteen defense. Yeah, they're good. Is the catchphrase of the Taki Tanis. Your Shazam movie team is pretty solid, Simeon. I must say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not too bad. Um, I'm impressed. And then thrown on top of all of this is this sweet battlefield condition that we'll both get to take part of. Um, as most battlefield conditions work. At the beginning of each of the first player's turns, we will place a strike token on this card if there are fewer than six strike tokens on the card. When a friendly character is attacking a single opposing character and the result is a critical hit, you may choose to deal damage normally or deal damage equal to the number of strike tokens on this card and then remove all strike tokens from the card. So, I guess, see, hmm. at the beginning of each player's first turn at the beginning of each of the first player's turns ah so calder one roll off so at the beginning of each of calder's turn we will place a strike token and okay. then once it gets up to six if either of our characters critically hits another character instead of using their printed normal damage plus one for the critical hit they can remove all the strike tokens which could possibly be six damage well not up to six. Is if there are fewer than six on the card. Ah, uh, so it'll be. So it'll cap at, it'll cap five. at five. Okay. Yeah. I guess after five, does it just not do any? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Then you just uh, have my to team. Crit hit. So yeah, you just, you just get the normal crit hit, which is still fun. great, obviously. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, call it now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna activate this, but it's gonna be on like one of your bystanders, so it's gonna be that would be real sad. Great. Just annihilate uh, four bush man into the dust. Speaking of four bush man, uh, we're building 500 points, as you guys can probably tell. Uh, I'll start off. Uh, my first character is Colonel America, uh, one of the best zombies ever made. And actually, for the time, now that I'm looking at him, it's pretty solid. 55 points. He's got some running shot ESDs. 10 for three, four range. Is you know a little little rough. But uh, it is what it is. Steel energy, some down dial willpower. Never goes below a 9. Damage doesn't dip below a 2. Normally that wouldn't be great, but honestly, in these Golden Age sets, like, wow, his attack value not going to a 6 is really solid. For 55 points, yeah. Yeah. That's and then, up. yeah, uh, look at that beautiful, like, just zombie sculpting in, like, the messed up teeth. He's got his, uh, his head cut off, which is really cool. Weird there's no star or on his chest because there is a star in the whatever in the book but that's okay but he's got the whole when magneto flings the shield back at him and cuts the top of his head off so he's got that part which is really sweet so really digging that love love colonel america love marvel zombies and now we move on two for only a hundred and five uh, i have never paid that for one of these <laughs> i actually someone gave me one which is like really awesome but uh like, you could probably get one for, like, less than 50 bucks, I imagine. Yeah. Like, 30 or so? Like, is the worst place wait, to yeah. do anything with hero clicks. It's awful. Actively campaigning against TCG player. Uh, but, if, like, if you go all the way down, like, now that's a zombie. Like, yep. Correct. Yep, you're right. <laughs> or, wow, he is sickness. He is sickness. <laughs> sickness. <laughs> and then a few so. days later, he had to come back to say... He is very good for his points. Good for his points. Ah, some some clarification there from yep. Ross. Dot dot dot. Yep. Just so we know. Uh, next up, we got Hulk, another zombie here. He uh, he's the beefiest of all the zombies. That eighteen invulnerability, top dial, no movement attack, very slow, like all of them, but can do three damage almost every click. Got one click of two damage in there, which isn't which isn't fantastic. That's fine though. Got some four damage clicks. Goes up to an eleven attack. He has some of the best attack values with the zombies. It sucks. He starts with a nine, but then on all his clicks without a damage reducer, he has steel energy and flurry, which is great. He also has exploit weakness. He's very um. You know, like, all the powers, just, they work really well together what, on what he has. So, it's really cool. I really dig it. It's weird that when he has his highest damage, he also has super strength. But whatever. Maybe that's just when he's feeling the strongest, I guess. He gets a little hungry in between super strength spots. I don't know. But this Hulk is very solid. A very slow. solid. Oh, super slow. I mean, Colonel America also had, like, six speed, too, with running. Sh so, yeah. Uh, what's it looks like an Eva to do $100 for this trash? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's pretty good. Uh, a little too powerful, still good. 
Yeah, thank you, Man Sheen. Wow. Love this fig. Hulk world, eat no, you. It's one, not, wow, it's World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. <laughs> Hulk eat you. One one word, wow. Sick Dilly Ick just got him yesterday. <laughs> what a time to be alive, October uh, 2007. 2007 Sick. slang. Oh, and then Ross again comes in. Ross dot 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 comes in. For those points, he is like God. <laughs> okay. Okay. This godlike hundred point uh, zombie Hulk figure in 2007. Truly a different. Shiva himself came down at a hundred yeah. points. Uh, oh, I need a. I need to look at the sculpt here. You can't. I haven't looked at can't the you sculpt. want to? Oh man! Look at all those ripped up bits. Yep. Hulk jeans are normally always ripped, but like yeah. his skin's all ripped. So yeah. I I, I hear the sculpt for the. First. Uh, the end times Hulk or whatever it was called from the Avengers Assembled chase set. Oh yeah, yeah, where his skin was all like eaten his away almost. And stuff, yeah. Yeah. Next up from a big beefy guys, we got Photon. Photon, little energy explosion, little running shot, little invulnerability, a little probability control. I really dig. He does dip all the way down to a seven attack. He gets some two damage in there, but when he has two damage, he has either uh, super strength or range combat expert, which is pretty solid. Uh, one random click of Super Senses just to keep people on their toes, I guess. I don't know, but Avengers Team Ability, 10 range, very solid. This version of Photon, who is, I don't know, Rick Jones at this point, or Captain Marvel, someone. I thought it was Rick Jones. I could be wrong. I honestly don't know. Yeah, don't know. Before real name, so it's hard to say. Let's see. Hard to tell. The comments say anything. Very good for the most part. Okay. Thank uh, you, Mancheen. Here's a very long comment. I'm sure it says something about I don't, his name. Yeah. Him. He's not useless. Sweet. Good. Well, that's that's what I was hoping for. But yeah, some flight. <laughs> pretty solid. Uh, and then Hyperion, our heaviest hitter of the bunch, uh, also coming in. Running shot, you know, super strength. 17 impervious. Got leadership, which is really great. And then 8 range. Uh, defender's team ability, which I can't use. There's no other defenders. He is pretty awesome. His Damage value dips low, and his attack value dips low, but every time it dips low, he has a modifier. Close combat expert or range combat expert, so he can do 4 or 6 damage on his last click if I want to roll that 8, or he can be a 4 for 10. Like, down dial, he is really solid. I really do like this version of Hyperion here, and he's got a pretty standard Hyperion sculpt, which is, he's going to punch you type yeah, deal. I still don't own you a know? single Hyperion. Um, I own These like ones are a probably. single sentry, but... Yeah, this would probably be like the cheapest one to pick up. This would probably be the easiest compared to like the Super Rare and Super Rare Prime and Iron Man. Yeah, I really definitely like easier the, to pick this guy up. Uh, the Hyperion from uh, like the whole what was it? Like when the Earths were colliding, like that storyline. Um, well, I have no the, idea. The lead up to like the Secret Worlds, Secret Wars battle world with the incursions. Um, mm. Uh. Thor with uh, Jarnia born, like so. It's unworthy Thor <laughs> missing an arm, I believe. Yeah. And Hyperion with like a huge beard face off against the the builders or creator. I don't. Know. They face off against the Beyonders. Or, I don't know something. They face off against a thing, and they die. So that's cool. Spoilers. Very cool. They also come back. So they die. Oh, oh. <laughs> Not really. Uh, and like I said, for Bush man, let's get excited. Let's let's get pumped. Uh, five five seventeen zero. Uh, like the highest bystander defense I've seen in a really long time. Yeah. Um, but of course, zero damage is a little rough for four Bush man. But he just, he's just he's just trying defense. to be a Look hero. That. That, he's got that sweet yeah. helmet. Yeah. He's got the the pot man. <laughs> That'll do it. He's kind of like a gag character. Maybe you guys couldn't tell this, <laughs> but uh, I'm glad he's here. Old old four Bush man. And Rick Jones also joins the fray. Very, um, very simple. But he's a nine for two oh, with a fourteen a, combat he's reflexes. Got a power on his dial. Too. Printed power, right? Insane. For, you know, it's just, it's just dude in a jacket. Rick Jones. Look at those sideburns. I guess. Yeah, he's. This is probably like yeah. Rick Jones after Captain America taught him how to not get punched as easy. Right, uh, and then special objects. The only special thing I'm really running is this meteorite. 
which is, when the object is using a successful close combat attack, roll one six-sided die and subtract two from the result. Minimum result one. Add the result to the attacker's unmodified damage value for the attacks. Damage can't be otherwise modified. So instead of just being a heavy that'll up you by two damage, instead you, you basically roll blades and you add that to your damage, and then minus two. Minimum one. So it's pretty cool. So it'll at least always do one, and potentially, you know, more than two, basically. Then you better get this one. Thank you. TH zero MA five five. We really appreciate that, my man. It's S five. Oh, is it? Oh, shoot. Never mind. I, I had a quick glance. <laughs> got it yeah, wrong. Yeah. Quick glance. Got it wrong. Uh, and like Simeon said, I won map. So let me go ahead and read the really cool special rules for the supernova deep space. All right. So keep this in mind. Uh, this is all when you occupy it, or when someone shoots somebody who is occupying it. So if they're outside of it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and obviously, this is just all of the orange. Characters given move actions when they occupy space terrain, so when they start in it, uh, modify their speed values plus two for the action. Half the range values of all characters occupying space terrain and all characters drawing a line of fire to a character that occupies space terrain. A successful attack that does not otherwise knock back a character occupying space terrain knocks back that character a number of squares equal to damage dealt minus two to a minimum of zero. When targeting a character occupying space terrain with Force Blast, roll two six-sided die instead of one. All knockback ends immediately when a character enters the first square that is not space terrain. Characters occupying space terrain are not dealt knockback damage if their knockback paths are ended by the edge of the map. Because there's nothing to knock you back into. We're just in space. Yeah. So yeah, that is... That are, those are the special map rules, something to keep in mind. Me and Simeon both haven't pulled up. I know we have this, and we have uh, whatever battlefield condition. Lots of interesting stuff to keep in mind here. But also, there are no special powers, so it can, it can be semi-complicated, I would think. So are you ready to rock and roll, Simeon? I am. Fantastic. We're just going to have Hyperion carry the Hulk uh, 12, so 11 squares. I wish I could carry a character. I bet that would be really cool, wouldn't it? Sweet earthbound neutralize I've got over here. Alright, and then let's have Photon carry Cap. He has plus one speed because of Avengers, and then negative one speed because he's oh, not Cap, but Colonel. Excuse me, I don't wanna don't wanna get that wrong. So it's an eleven, goes down to a ten. Place cap like so. And then we got we move Rick Jones, Forbish Man. Forbish Man can move five. And then Rick Jones, double check his movement here. I know we just looked at him. Uh, can move eight. And no perplexes, no anything. It is your go. Sweet. All right, so... I think my my highest range is 10 with a uh, wizard. So that goes down to a 5 because of this sweet map. And it seems that Calder has positioned himself <laughs> at 6. <laughs> Luckily, I have Perplex from Mr. Mind, though. Um, so Ah! Calder, I did not foresee this coming! <laughs> Calder move. Did, uh, did have his first turn, so we will put one token on the Critical Strike card. Critical Strike. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Just add it to, like, the... Yeah, red. Perfect. So, Wizard Shazam's the only real attack that I could pull off right now. He's an 11 for 4. Uh, if I perplex up his attack, I could shoot one of these guys. And I think I'm going to want to do that, because otherwise Shazam's just going to get obliterated right away. Uh, he's probably going to have to run away right now. So, I'll start with Shazam running... Eight squares somewhere. Uh, 
The space terrain doesn't make me stop my movement, though, right? It just uh, uh, no, it does not. No. If I start in it, I get a plus two, but it doesn't actually stop yeah. anything. Okay, one, two, three. I'm just going to go hide in a bush. Mm. And that is Shazam's first turn. All right. Let's see. Um... Hi, what's Hyperion's defense again? It is a 17 with Impervious. Impervious, man. I think we'll just take a shot at Captain... Uh, no, we'll, we'll take a shot. We'll perplex up Wizard Shazam's range to an 11. Okay. So then when it's halved, it will become five and then plus one to six. Um, so he will take a shot at Photon with his okay. turn for four. That will hit a 19. Mm. Uh, we'll prob that with Photon. How dare you. I will prob that with uh, the wizard Shazam. Mm, not the a fan. Wizard Shazam. Uh, Seventeen. Photon is at that beautiful uh, eighteen in vol. Mm, mm. No, sorry, Photon is at a seventeen. Excuse me. So yeah, that'll hit. Ah, good. good, good, good. good. <laughs> Hulk had the eighteen. Yeah. So he takes two, goes to click three. Mr. Mind with his beautiful eight range is stuck shooting four squares away. So there's definitely nothing I can do there. Uh, Taki Tani has, I think it was seven speed. Let's see here. Mr. Taki Tani. Yes, he's a seven, seven, 14, two. So we'll just go and stand right here. Mr. Takitani, going to get into the rumble. Uh, and I think that I will just call it there, because I do have another action that I could take with Mr. Mind, but uh, I don't really just want to move him up, so I'll just leave him. Mm. Okay. Uh, first off, we're going to roll Leadership with Hyperion. He is the highest point character, so if we get it, and we do, we can remove a token, which is very, very cool. I think, probably, we're going to have Colonel America here eat Takitani's brains, for sure. Uh, 10 to your 14? Yes. Let's... Not roll a three. And then knockback will send you flying. <laughs> there we How go. How much damage? I guess One, they always do knockback. Uh, for three damage. Three. You you die. And that's you, double? No, it's minus so two. This one? It's, minus oh, it's minus two. two. No, 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 no. It's, it's only double if it's a force blast. So uh, you just go back one square. It's okay. my damage you deal, minus two. But you just die. Simeon, you die. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get in there. Let's get in there. And let's see. So I, we probably don't want to push Hyperion uh, more than we have to. So I'll probably let's see. Uh, you would be at a seventeen in the hindering terrain, which is you know pretty pretty solid move for uh, for old Shazam there. So I think we're gonna go try to get. Yeah, we're going to try with Photon first, even though he's only a 9 attack. We'll go for that. Uh, or, let's see, would it be 
just easier to hit you and then hit you for three, or would it be easier to just try to roll that six and then hit you for what five with Hyperion? Oh, for four? Nah, we'll just try to hit you. We'll just we'll we'll hedge our bets before we push. So let's running shots with Photon. He gets plus two speed. He's eight. Goes us up to a ten. Halves it four, so he can move six. He'll running shot to there, shooting Shazam. Nine to a seventeen. We need an eight, and that will hit for three damage. Mm. I will prob it with Wizard Shazam. Oh, okay. Just in case. And we miss. Miss by one. Whiff it. Whiff it. Whiff it good. All right. Well, I didn't want to have to. We're going to have to push old uh, Hyperion here. So I think we're going to fly. Uh, nah, we're not going to carry anybody. Uh, let's go one, two... Fly at me with your running shot super strength. We're, we're gonna fly up there, picking up this heavy object there. Eleven to a seventeen. Oof. And that will hit for four. And then I will go to click two. That will take Shazam down to click five. Man, activation clicks. How do they work? Um, so on click 5 I now have charge super strength 16 with invulnerability and 4 damage mm. so it's it's a little bit better it's not it's not what I indeed, wanted but... indeed alright I'm going to go ahead and I think Hulk is just going to leap climb 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Seven to there, plus two because of whatever. And he will pick up the meteorite. And then we're going to clear Rick and Forbush. And it is your turn. All right. Let's see. I'm already one bystander down. Shazam has been activated in a bad way. Um, what is Photon's defense right now? Right now, he is a 15 with super senses. 15 with super senses. Yeah, so if he takes 4, he goes onto that magical click 3, 15 super senses. What a guy. What a, what a fella. I feel like it might be worth it for Shazam to push. Uh, and Hyperion still got that impervious. Don't really want to deal with uh, Hyperion that. took one push uh, for shooting. So he is actually a 17 invulnerability. Ah, so I could do, I could possibly do damage. Um, does the Hulk have Battle Fury right now? The Hulk has Exploit Weakness. Ooh, okay. I'm going to attempt to mind control the Hulk with Mr. Mind. What's He's got that 18 mm. defense value. Uh, 18 defense. I'm going to perplex that down to a okay. 17. And then Mr. Mind is going to try and mind control the Hulk. That's a 16. Uh, I will Thankfully rob miss. it with with my wizard Shazam. Ah, that'll do it. All right, what's his speed value? It is a 6. So I'm not getting anywhere is <laughs> what, I, what I just learned. Well, I this. am in space terrain, so I have a oh, plus, two, have plus speed. 2 speed. Um, yeah, that's right. So it would be half plus 2, so I can move 5. Ah. Mm. Ah. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, we'll go we'll go right there. And then we'll try and give old Photon a nice wallop. What's the, oh boy. What's All the right. Hulk's attack value? Hulk's got that nine. Nine attack value. Nine attack. Alright. Need to Hope you don't hit super senses, or I don't roll. Not that. worry about it at all. Um, so that was Mr. Mind. I'm not going to take uh, feedback damage because uh, that's not a thing anymore. 
Um, Weird that you said it. Yeah, it is. Strange. <laughs> uh, Wizard Shazam as Quintessence. Life is strange. And Photon is no longer in space terrain, so I will just He's take not. a shot at Photon with uh, Wizard All Shazam. All right, now it's a whole 16 because of hindering terrain. <laughs> All right, that will be an 18, I believe. That will hit. Uh, let's roll Super Senses for a 2, meaning we take 4 damage and go to click 7 on Photon. Alright. Now I have to decide. I think it's an okay idea to push Shazam right now. And by mm. okay idea, I mean probably not. But we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, first, I will give Wizard Shazam an action token because he did a thing. And that's how this game works. He did. Right. He did, yes. Shazam is going to charge to here. Mm. Actually, it won't really matter. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll charge to there. That's fine. Um, I have a 9 attack with super strength. And... Four damage okay. right now, so coming at you. All right. This is a sixteen. Big hit. eights. It does not. I do have a seventeen. Sadly, I'll go to click six, and that is all I can do that turn. I used my perplex and my prob. So, okay. Right on. Uh, I'll go ahead. No need to roll leadership. Don't have it anymore, actually. Let's... One, two, three. We cannot outwit you. We do have outwit on Photon now. We cannot outwit uh, Wizard Shazam. We can target normal Shazam. I don't think it'll matter. Because uh, we won't be attacking him this turn. And he will not be attacking next turn. Um, and I don't think he has anything that we need to outwit. So we're going to just put that in our pocket there. We're going to move Rick Jones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to here. Mm. Forbish Man. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can move seven to there. I'll move like that for right now. And then I think we're just going to clear everybody else. Mr. Mind will perplex up his own defense to a 20. Um, Wizard Shazam will prob all your future attacks. Okay, yep, of course, yep, sure. <laughs> Every single one. Uh, then I'm just, I'm going to clear as well. Okay. Because I cannot, I cannot double push anybody, so only single push is allowed. Good. Good stuff right there. I think now is definitely the time for Photon to outwit Shazam's defense and Hyperion to go ahead and hit him with the heavy object. So it's going to be an 11 for 4 plus 2 because it's the normal heavy. Uh, Hulk has a meteorite. This is just a wrecking ball that was in space. So it's going to be an 11 for 6. Outwit your defense. 4 does a 17 hit Shazam. 17 would normally hit Shazam, but I'm going to prop it. Very fair. Very fair. That Does an 18 that hit Shazam? Hit okay. Shazam. Uh, <laughs> so you're dealing how much? For 6 damage, get rid oh, of this man. heavy object. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just barely. I almost survived. Barely holding on Shazam. No, no, he, he barely died. Oh, 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 nice. Nice. We'll take it. Fantastic. Now we get a change uh, where we want to go and what we want to do. Uh, I think we should definitely have this guy carry the Hulk. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
So let's remember, let's remember what is our speed? What is our speed value for Photon? Uh, we have six speed plus one Cove Avengers, negative one because we're carrying Hulk. So we can move six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can move to there if we wish and just kind of slap Hulk there. Ah. And I think, yeah, I think we're going to go Counter-Strike Global Super Offensive here. See, here's an interesting thing. I would need to run okay. eight with Wizard Shazam to Pulse Wave and hit Mr. Mind. But if I roll like a seven, I hit all of your guys. Although I am targeting into... So here's a less interesting... <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> what is what is it three i am targeting okay. to this with pulse uh, wave normally having does it get double halved? having i would say it gets double halved because that's how yeah yeah let's thank you for i forgot he had <laughs> pulse wave <laughs> mr mine has a 19 I'm like oh yeah nope he certainly does um Man, you know what? Maybe we might actually take that chance. Let's say we all take one. Someone's still adjacent to you. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not like the best option that I have. It's just a option. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I ain't afraid no pulse wave. Not at right now at this current juncture, anyways. Um, Hulk didn't do anything this turn. He shouldn't have a token. I gave... This guy should get a token. Okay, yeah. Well, Hulk would clear anyways, but uh, I think I forgot to clear him because last one they had red tokens. Anyway, uh, Colonel America has plus two speed. Uh, let's see if we can running shot here with our five speed. One, one, two, three, four, five will actually will get us to here. And we'll, sh we'll running shot and try to go for that shot on Mr. Mind. All right. So 10 to a 20. Big big numbers Don't here. Do it. Don't do it. That would have been awesome. How how great would that have been? But no, alas, uh, it does not it does not sink. And that's it. Let's clear our our pogs. And I'd say it's your turn. All right, we're gonna go for wow. this again. Um, Mr. Mind is gonna try and mind control the Hulk. Okay. Ten into your eighteen this time. I'm gonna nice. Prob that with Wizard Shazam. Ooh, using the prob on the mind control. Ooh. Wasting, wasting the crit hit on the mind control. I knew. Um, it. I knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, three. Oh, you got it up to three. All right, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Well. Well, he's super mind controlled. Hulk can move. Uh, well, he's gonna punch first. He's gonna. Oh. Let's see. Rick Jones has a 16 because combat reflexes. What is Photon sitting at? Photon is a 13 with ESD. All right, let's just... That's, uh, that's that's Photon. I think Hulk can hit this time, so we'll try and hit Photon. Okay. That does hit. That does hit for three. Does Photon die? Uh, yes, definitely. Definitely so. And there goes uh, Mr. Photon. I'll then try and roll for breakaway with Hulk. Definitely uh, gets it. So he will go, what, he's got six speed, so he can go three plus two. So he'll Five, go, yeah. Uh, one, two, we'll go right there. Mm. Okay, I see, I see, I see what you're, I see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're doing. That was a uh, action for Mr. Mind. Mr. Mind is going to... So I didn't use perplex because I didn't have line of fire there. You did not. No. The, I can I can punch you. I just can't see you. I can't see where I'm swinging. I can only punch where I'm swinging. Um, <laughs> I, don't know. I was trying to make some commentary <laughs> on the, up, so the string swing where I'm punching. Regarding you shouldn't. Yeah. Line of fire. Imagine if we were HeroClix commentators and we're just like, as you can see there, he <laughs> moved so we could. Uh, he can't. He can't see where he's punching, but he can. not punch where he's swinging uh that's line of fire like in like a competitive nationals worlds yeah. game 
Lex Luthor he can't see Batman, so he can't punch him. him, but he sure can punch him while he's in that bush. That's, You're right. Uh, yeah, perfectly legal. It's perfectly legal tactics. Uh, I think uh, Wizard Shazam is just going to have to try and swing at Rick Jones. Rick Jones? Because I don't really want to try and break with, away. So With the 16 defense holding true? Yeah. Need a, need a 5? Need a 5. Let's see if no prob on it. Off no Rick no prob on it. Gets Oof. it. That sadly does defeat Rick, uh, Mr. Jones here. That's a big old twenty. Which is rough. It's rough. All right. And then All right. Mr. Mind will. Uh, let's see. He's got a nineteen. My wizard has a eighteen. Do I want two nineteens or do I want an eighteen and a twenty? Hmm. I'll go ahead and perplex up uh, Wizard Shazam's defense. So I've got 219 defenses. Okay. All right. All right. Now let's see what we want to do. <laughs> Still no leadership to roll. Hyperion lost it. Hyperion is on charge now so no running shot okay interesting interesting what else have we got going on okay the meteorite has to be used in a close combat attack roll to use its cool thing uh but i think hulk would also be okay with just throwing it I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen Hulk throw anything. I, it seems strange. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and chuck it at the Wizard Shazam there. I am aware I will need a ten to hit twice, but um, but what's the worst that could happen? Oh, crit miss. Really? That's. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out in the universe. <laughs> All right, it misses. We destroy the object. Whatever, it's zero points. But what if I prop That's, it so that you could? <laughs> I I mean, you could if you wanted. I wouldn't stop you. No, but uh, no. yeah, and then Forbush Man. Yes. <laughs> he moves. The ever-present Forbush Man. Absolutely, and we clear the rest of the gang. All right, we are up to four critical strike tokens. Uh, oh, baby. Meaning it means Bushman. someone's got to crit hit sometime. Forbushman could definitely do some damage if he does hit. <laughs> so he has gone from not a threat to actually quite a threat um, with the chance of there being yes, a crit hit. He critically hits, and you prob it, and then critically hits again. <laughs> well, yes. it's, it's possible that you attack me with someone else, and then I prob Also that attack, true. And then yeah. he, he comes in later. Um Comes in with the clutch crit hit for yeah. Bush Man, late gentleman, for or Bush Man. You, or if I prob him out of hitting uh, Master. Yes. Or, yeah. Yeah. Mastermind. Yeah. Yeah. Or Mastermind, not Mastermind. Um. Mm. Okay. I think I've just got a man. I as much as I don't want to waste my wizard's attacks on bystanders this whole game, <laughs> I'm going to just punch for Bush Man. With the wizard Shazam. Yeah, there it is. Reaping. Four percent that's seventeen defense though. Ever more souls. Need a six? Yeah. Ah uh, well. He did what he was supposed to do. Four bush man, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. And then I will I will use Mr. Mind's perplex to increase Wizard Shazam's defense again. Mm. And I will clear Mr. Mind. Hmm. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and do to do. Uh, Captain America, Colonel America is going to running shot to here, shooting at Mr. Mind. So 10 on a 19, is that correct? Yes. Let me just update yes. the critical strike to five. Or did I already? Five. Oh, baby. 
No, this would be great. Cleared, so yeah. uh, this is the start of my turn. Yeah. All right. Ah, Colonel, no. <laughs> Colonel, darn it. Uh, shoot, I really, really want to get a nice shot off on that Mr. Mind. So I guess Hyperion's going to have to move. Hyperion has 12 speed. Goosh. That's a lot. But here's the thing. I really don't want... Uh, definitely can't charge. Yeah, yeah, charge Hulk. I, I do not want to get mind control and moved away again. Not a fan of that. So we'll have him move there, and then we will clear Mr. The Hulk. And it is your turn. Okay. Colonel America would be safe from Pulse Wave if I... If I could do that right now. I can't, but mm. if I could. Mm. Uh, what is Colonel America's defense stuff? Uh, he has a 16 with energy shield deflection. Okay, so I'd need an 8. Um, does he have, is he at 3 damage still? He's still on click 1, I believe. He's he's a 10 for 3, baby. Colonel America's rocking that 3 damage. And I will just go for the blanket uh, mind control on him with Mr. Mind. Okay. So need an 8. 10 into the 18. I will prob that one. Okay. Ah. Okay. Yep, that seems about right. I'll perplex up Wizard Shazam's defense again. Hmm. Okay. And then we'll go up... To... Oh, wait, we stay at 5, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh... The critical strike. Uh, so we are maxed out on critical strike. Maxed attack. out, yeah. Let's go ahead and have Hulk just move to here for right now. Because that's all he can do. Sadly. Sadly. And I'm kind of debating if we should just go ahead and push Hyperion. He needs a 7 to hit. Or did you perplex up um, his defense, right? Yeah. Wizard Shazam is yeah. by 1. So Hyperion does need an 8 to hit. Um, but I don't think my stats, they don't get better. Uh, my defense stays the same. So we're going to go ahead and have Hyperion try to roll that 8 twice. Because we need to... This is this is going to be tough. I mean, getting rid of Shazam right away was, was great for us. But uh, trying to slog through these high defenses is going to be really rough. So Hyperion, crit hit, baby. We do roll an 8, Oof. though, which is nice. So I will have to prob that one. And then oh, no. ah, four <laughs> foiled again, and we go to click three with Hyperion. Sadly, and we clear Colonel America, and it is your go. All right, rough, very rough. Hulk still at an eighteen defense. Still at that eighteen invulnerability, baby. I've hit him with mind control twice, but nothing great what's in, what's a uh, hyperion's defense invuln as well 17 invulnerability yes all right i know that hulk's got that weird wonky steel energy flurry kind of stuff mid dial mm -hmm. so i kind of want to avoid that i'm going to perplex up wizard shazam's damage and go for a punch on hyperion okay Ooh, ouch, that'll hit Hyper for three. Pop him down to click six. Right, you have four, five, minus two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, five minus two. So, um, that is my perplex. Mr. Mind will just clear this turn. Okay. And it'll go to you. Um, man, I wish we could use your little perplex damage against you a bit more, but we really can't. Colonel America is still just going to go ahead and shoot Mr. Mind here. Needing a 9. Ah, oh, baby. There it is. A 10 for, for three, three damage. For three damage, yes. That'll put me on click 4. Still have perplexed Very solid. and mind control. Ah. But I've lost my... Oh my gosh. I had willpower this Shame. whole time. Two, three. Yeah, I didn't know if you just, for whatever yeah. reason... Uh, yeah. Just completely forgot... Yeah, that's fine. All right, very solid. Uh, then I think we are going to clear everyone else. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Playing it, playing it a little safe. Hmm. I 
think I want to get. So me. if you wanted to pulse wave and then kill Mr. Mind, I would be fine with that. I'd also hit a few of your guys. It's saying uh, you would. Now this is why I like we should we need to start doing these timed games because it is I think it's going to take a very long time uh, the slog fest against Wizard Shazam in order for me to try to kill him. I yeah I agree. Otherwise, I would like totally win on time. Recently, <laughs> like, style. Uh, like, <laughs> I'm gonna move Mr. Mind to here, and I'm okay. going to, mm. I'm gonna go for the gusto again. I'm gonna perplex up damage on Wizard Shazam's. Okay. On, on Wizard Shazam, so his damage is up by one. Yes. He is going to try and punch Hyperion again. All right. Eleven into. Uh, it's much worse now, for sure. Uh, a 15 with toughness. So, one, two, three. You will kill him if you hit old Hyperion. Right. Can he crit miss twice? Can he roll a four twice? No, uh, he 17, certainly cannot. And points. that is all all we wrote for Hyperion. <laughs> there he goes. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye now. <laughs> bye bye Hyperion. Uh, yeah. From an alternate world. Yep. There he goes. It exploded. Back to it. Yep. <laughs> all right. But all right, yeah, I'm not liking the charge. full. I'm not liking the full dial Hulk and Captain America. Full dial zombies. Full yeah. dial zombies. Um, still less points than a full dial Wizard Shazam, though. <laughs> so sure, yeah. Hulk does kind of have to go for the nine attack to your eighteen. Need a nine twice for an exploit here. But I think it is our only real option. Let's roll it up. Wow, that's a three. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Amazing. I do not really want to push Captain America, so or Colonel America, so I will not. And it is your turn. I kind of want to push Mr. Mind to try and crit hit the Hulk. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Mind's definitely just going to perplex up his own defense. Okay. So then I've got two 18s instead of much better my, yeah my previous two 19s um but yeah we'll go with that two 18 defenses i was hoping this wizard shazam had the mystics team ability but he super doesn't oh we would definitely lose the game if he did but we haven't actually damaged him once this turn so mystics so far wouldn't have helped um we're gonna have colonel america shoot both of you guys and let's let's actually let's see. Can we running shot somewhere? No, our half range gives us a pitiful two range. So you are within Colonel America's amazing four. Let's go ahead and shoot you guys. He does have double targets, which is great. So if I if I do hit an eighteen, I will probably probably deal it to Shazam. Let's see. No, that is a seven, and sadly, it does not hit. Uh, Hulk will not want to get rid of his amazing defense reducer just yet, so he will go ahead and clear. Now, this is where I'm wishing this Hulk had better attack value. Top dial. Man. Hmm. 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 If I tried, hmm. to, if I tried to mind control the Hulk, I'd have to perplex up his speed first <laughs> so that he could even do anything. Um, <laughs> Colonel America does, however, have energy shield, so... That would be a pretty decent option. I could alternatively just try and crit hit the Hulk, which is a must, much less likely thing. Uh, so I will perplex up Hulk's speed with Mr. Mind. Or wait, is Hulk in the... Oh. Uh, I think he actually already, is. Yeah, yeah. He's he is in, in there, space. So, he's so in space! Actually, so he's, yeah, he does have the five speed. So I will perplex down Hulk's defense with Mr. Mind mm. and then try okay. and... Mr. Mind control him. Ten into a seventeen. Mm. I Still out of ten, this Mr. Mind. Prob that. Oh, is he? I don't know. Is he? Yeah, that's what I'm curious about. No, he's at an eight. Look, you are at an eight on <laughs> click four. You are at an eight attack value. That's a that's a nine you need to roll. Alright. Alright. Pardon. <laughs> Sight, gentlemen. To be fair, I, I didn't realize he had willpower, so I should have been making twice the attacks that I was, but that's that's on me. Uh, 
conservative with the willpower there. Yeah. So. Just hedging my bets, that's what I was doing. Um, I'm going to prob that with Wizard Shazam, just in case. Okay. That's a I didn't see! 16, get it out yeah. of here! All right. Uh, this game can be long. <laughs> Wizard Shazam <laughs> will also try and punch Hulk. So okay. he only needs a seven, or no, he only needs a six now. No, but I have used good. my I have used my prob, so so crit miss. No, okay. Takes two. I got to click three. Sadly, sadly. Man, I really want, really want Mister Mind to get that last, that last swing crit hit, deal five damage. Sure, sure. He already got one crit hit. Just wasn't. A he did. No, he did. You're correct. He did. Let's let's go ahead. We're gonna have Hulk flurry. He is a ten for two right now. So first attack targeting Mister Mind. So okay. I need a seven to hit. We got two shots at. We got flurry, baby. That will hit Mr. Mind, very much so. I will prob that first one. Okay. Still the first attack. First attack. That will miss Mr. Mind. Second attack. Fudge! Fudge! All right. I do not like where the Hulkster currently finds himself. I was hoping we could hit 1-7 at least, at least once. That really sucks. <clears throat> Your prob is gone. I think we are going to do a push here on Colonel America, double target them both. Both of them. I think that's what we're going to do. Both of them. Bro! Bro! <laughs> Bro! Come on! I take the risk, and this is what we get. We go to click two, and then we go Man. to click three. If you look at your roll, you got all the even numbers and like lessening sequential order. Eight, six, Eight. four, two. That's pretty good. Two. It's interesting. Right? Uh, yeah. No. I mean, it, it's good not in, in, love. in like a not good, um, like a good not, for me. Kind having of none of it <laughs> sucks. Way to turn the tide in the worst possible way. Calder, it's your go, Simeon. Just dang it. All right. Wow. I mean, I, I that sucks. There's no other way to say it besides that sucks. That does really suck. <laughs> Just not for me. So. Okay. So yeah, I'm yeah. absolutely okay with it. Uh, what's the Hulk's defense value now? This is like a 16 willpower. Sweet. Uh, a much less threatening on his time to heal up clicks. Yes, a 16 willpower. If he would have healed once, it would have been at least a 17. But alas, uh, Hulk. So here we are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wizard Shazam. www.wizardshazam.com is going okay, to get sure. his, def or his, his damage perplexed up by Mr. Mind. Damage He's this gonna guy. Try and oh. punch the Hulk. Okay. Oh no. See oh, now, no. I would like that a lot more if Probably. you were on your second click. <laughs> yeah, that'd be that'd be funny. That'd be poetic in a way. And that'd be really that funny be if I rolled another crit miss here. Uh, 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 no, that would uh, hit normally. Uh, for what five? For five. Hulk goes to click eight, which he has on his Still dial. Still alive. Still alive. Mr. Mind will clear. What's the Hulk speed yeah, here's, now? Here's the rough part is, yeah, see, I knew you were going to ask that, that question. Uh, did you do Hulk's speed is a three. So it goes <laughs> down to, you can move me four squares, basically, Very if you mind control. Uh, I'm going to clear everybody. No more pushing from me. I've learned my lesson. It is your go. Right. Mr. Mind Liv still doesn't have a uh, For anybody value. falling at home, I'm livid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just so mad. Um, really it in the worst possible direction. All right. I can perplex my def or my damage up to one, right? From zero to one. Oh, I thought you couldn't perplex zero. I don't remember the rule of zeros. It was like a weird rule, and then they changed it slightly, and I still don't. I should figure it out. Um... I'm just going to try and mind control the Hulk, because he can still... Does he have steel energy? He does. He does. Uh, eh, I'll just perplex down the Hulk's attack value, and then I'll clear. Okay. Because I don't trust... Eh. 
we Mr. we got Mr. Mr. Mine yeah. will Mr. Mine yeah. will go for a crit hit. We'll see. Oh, okay. Before okay. I clear, we'll see. Cause okay. Not mind control, just attack. Okay. Prob, prob that one. Okay. Ah. Yes! 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 What is it? What is it? That's what it is! <laughs> but, like, I'm still in a, such a terrible, terrible position. You know, like, even with that small, and I mean minuscule victory, ladies and gentlemen, we're in a, we're in a bad position. Ladies and gentlemen at home, my, the perplex goes away, sure. Um, we need a nine twice to hit <laughs> uh, to hit Mr. Wizard Shazam here. Uh, that sucks. Colonel America on click three also has an exploit, so Colonel could also move up uh, and hopefully maybe. But we, we want Hulk, um, I think more than damage you, we want Hulk to hit you. So instead, Hulk is going to flurry even though he had oh no he has three damage okay so it'll it'll get through if we hit so yeah hulk will have to flurry for sure we got to heal we should be on click eight not five i just realized that on the thing but yeah hulk with the flurry uh no i said i need nines okay uh next attack that will hit i will prob that one even though yeah, it's see. trending the number is trending up but i I'll probably... uh, crit it! Crit it! No! All right. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to blow out two mics. Uh, excuse me there. Pardon Pardon me, Francais. Uh, and then uh, Colonel, Colonel, Colonel America will go ahead and move up. Can you tell I'm a little frustrated? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit. All right. I'm much more worried about the Hulk healing up to something decent than I am about Colonel America at this point. So um, I'm just going to take a swing on the Hulk. Okay. Uh, nothing, nothing fancy going on anymore, other than prob. So, eleven for four. Just crit miss. So he has to see. Here's the worst part: is is I got a thirteen defense. <laughs> so, Hulk leaves the game without hitting. Are you ready for this, folks? Without hitting a sing a single attack. That was one hundred points That's not of true. my build. That I totally no. hit photon. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What I Simeon, I just... you're thin ice, buddy. Okay, what a what a champ. Colonel America is gonna have to exploit weakness. If Colonel America can somehow win me the game, uh, we'll see. But he has willpower, exploit weakness. He is a on click three. What is he a nine for two? A nine for two, ladies and gentlemen. Simeon, if I get a crit hit, will you prob it? Even uh... with the count. Let's I'll, I'll let it stand just because. Gentlemen, yeah. Okay, if, okay, if I could crit hit. let it stand. <laughs> oh, damn it! Oh. Dang it. <laughs> well, it's been nice. It's been real, and it's been fun. I gotta say, it hasn't been real fun. Go ahead and try not to crit miss twice, Simeon. So and I then I'll internet. You, I don't know if you remember this, but uh, Wizard Shazam has pulse waves, so I'm gonna do that. Doesn't really matter though. Doesn't really matter. Okay. That's an eighteen for four. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, actually, uh, Colonel America damaged Mister Mind, so he goes to his last non-KO click, removes his food token, uh, and then goes to click. No, I just no. He just he dies. We die. I want to see what that would happen if I probed it. Ah, uh, still hit. That I actually, just, if I, I, I really is, wanted that crit hit thing to you pop off at one point. Yeah, I I think. There's a lot I could have done better, but man, what do you know? Wizard Wizard Shazam. Get out of here. Get out of town. Get out of here. Wizard Shazam did it. Okay, well, guys, tell me if you liked the this episode of Golden Age. I just said Golden Age something. It's Thursday Throwdown. It's the name of the show. We've been doing this for 10 weeks now. Goodness gracious. So, yeah, uh, next week... Actually, before we get into stuff about next week, um, let us know how you liked uh, using battlefield conditions, using feats and stuff. We didn't use any feats, but et cetera. Using feats and stuff. Using maps with special rules kind of makes it fun. And also uh, that we change kind of point value every week. Last week was 300 points. This week we did 500. So let us know what you like about all the extra stuff. Next week, we're going to go on into the first card set, I believe, 
So uh, that is another epic Golden Age brawl. It's come to a close. Reminder, you can vote for what figures we use on Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and the comments of this video. Next week, I believe I'm going to build from the first card it's set, which is Justice League. And then Simeon is going to build from Avengers. No, okay. He's building from the first card it's set, which is Avengers. I'm building from the second card it's set, which is Justice League. We are going to try a new format, which will not be using Roll20 for next week. So we'll see if you guys like it. If you dislike it, uh, let us know. Uh, that's obviously next week's video. So yeah, vote Facebook, Twitter, Discord, or the comment section of this video. I am building out of Justice League, and Simeon is building out of Avengers. Those are the this Avengers like from 2007, Justice League from 2007. First sets without using the REV system. Mm-hmm. So when first sets of cards and, and no REVs. And oh my gosh. Lobo, Amazo. And there are some doubles. Really quick, let's name three figures that you want to use from Avengers. And I'll say three figures that I know of, or at least sort of want to use from Justice League. Uh, let's see. I definitely have a ton of these figures. So this Avengers set is like a lot of like Ultimates, which the Ultimates team ability is the same as Avengers Initiative now, which is basically the same as Superman, a more likely one to come across um i can't remember which figure it was that i actually used out of here okay you think of them i've got my three from justice league so i'll go ahead and rattle them off really quick uh the 008 lex luther is pretty solid uh very weird <coughs> defenses but on the offense he's really cool the 033 vigilante in his motorcycle it's very weird that the picture here he's not a double base or a peanut base but he is a peanut base uh and him and his terrible stats but cool motorcycle and then of course 054 doomsday who is just an absolute standout to me in the justice league set i absolutely love this guy so much the 19 defense the five damage he is freaking awesome 11 clicks alive 261 points actually looks like a figure that's worth 261 points, at least back then. Like, I see so many where you're like, man, they really overcosted this figure. But this guy is like, yeah. At the time, he seems like an accurate 261 points. So those are definitely the three figures I want to use the most from Justice League. Yeah. That Doomsday is pretty good. Got your Avengers picks, Simeon? Uh, I'll throw some stuff down. I'm pretty sure that the ones that I've got on my shelf from this set um, is the 056 Hawkeye. I don't remember if he's any good, but let's see. Sharpshooter, so that's always fun. Uh, power action, make range combat, attack, modify his attack value, plus two for the attack. So I guess he's not that great. But I know he's one that I've got on my shelf. Um, I definitely don't have that Ares. Ooh, Thin Man. Let's get Thin Man in there, just because I had like, a pile of these... And I'd never wanted a single one, and I had to look it up because I was like, who is this? Why why do I have so many? Um, good tie-up piece. That was about all that he really did. Defenders, that's... Yeah. And uh, let's, let's get another one here. Um, I don't want to do the common Iron Man. That's too easy. Let's see... It's almost like I said the word real quick, and you're not Cap being real quick we'll about do, it. We'll do Cap and Bucky. <laughs> The duo. Uh, yeah, that's actually kind of a cool... Um, that was like the pseudo chase. For this. Oh, it wasn't really a chase, but it was like one of the most sought after. Right. One of like the hard super rares to get. Mm -hmm. This figure is actually really cool. I wish they would have given Bucky the normal sculpt with the Tommy gun instead of him just like kind of standing there with his yeah. like dukes. His dukes are half up, but that cap is a really cool Captain America sculpt. Tyros of Landlac. Uh, yes. So yeah, that is that is probably uh, one of my favorite duo figures too. Absolutely, I used to play it a bunch. Well, all right, everybody. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Thursday Throwdown. Like I said, it's uploaded every Thursday, and we also put up the polls to vote every Thursday. So uh, we are signing out. Happy trails.